G'day Virtual Pilots, it's Requiem. In this video, we're going to have a look at how you use the contact altimeter while dive bombing with the Stuka. The contact altimeter is an adjustable altimeter where you set a desired bomb release altitude above mean sea level during a dive bombing attack. To control it, you'll increase this altitude with right shifting K and you'll decrease the altitude with right controlling K. During the attack, when you're 250 meters above the set release altitude, a horn will begin sounding. And then when you reach the release altitude, it will stop. This is your cue to release the bombs. Then once you release the bombs, the automatic recovery system will kick in and you can recover from the dive. So here we are at the back of the Stuka and I want you to look at the right elevator trim tab. When we engage the dive brakes, it's gonna control this tab to deflect and it's gonna cause the nose to go over but you'll notice that the left elevator trim tab isn't even changed. That's because this will stay in control of the pilot the whole time. And once you release the bombs or retract the dive brakes, that'll send the signal to deflect that right elevator trim again, and that'll help bring the airplane out of the dive. When dive bombing in the Stuka using the contact altimeter, your altitude is gonna be between 800 meters and 4,600 meters above the ground, but your contact altimeter is gonna be set referencing mean sea level as desired. If you're carrying more than one bomb, you can set up a bomb delay and interval as desired, and as you approach the target, you'll open the floor window. Then you'll close the oil and water radiators, and as you pass over the target, you'll bring the throttle back to idle, turn the siren on, and extend the dive brakes. This will initiate the automatic dive system to bunch you over, and you'll finish up in around an 80 to 90 degree dive angle. You'll then place the gun sight on the target, and then you'll hear the horn start sounding when you've got 250 meters above your release altitude. When the horn stops, that's when you release your bombs and begin the recovery from your diving attack. Alright, so we're going to get ready to do the dive bombing in the Stuka. Uh, we've got a loadout of a single 1000 kilogram bomb, and the target is just on the lower left of the screen there with the port that I've created with a few ships and any aircraft emplacements. So, the first thing we want to do when we dive bomb is uh, open up the floor window. This is where we can see the target as we fly over it. It's the end key to open that. Uh, the contact altimeter is already set to a thousand meters. I uh, already discussed how to use that. So zooming into the port, um, I'll put an arrow there to show which set of ships I'm going to be attacking. I'm just trying to plan my flight path here. Um, I could just point straight at it, uh, but there may not be a guarantee I'll actually be able to fly directly towards it. So what I'm going to be doing is looking for a reference point. Now, um, based on where those ships are, in the direction they're facing. I want to attack along the length of the ships. So I'm going to continue flying this direction then I'm going to turn slowly towards them and I'm going to choose a reference point that's in line with the length of the ship. So I want you to keep this concept in mind um, as I begin the final turn on my approach to the target. It's a little bit hard to see now with the target being obscured by the clouds. So I'll start getting ready for the approach. I'm going to close up the oil and radiator flaps to help prevent any overcooling during the dive. Now we're almost ready to make the final turn. Just going to make sure I can see the ships a little better, just to make sure I can line up correctly on the length of the ship. And just make out the ship through the clouds there. So I'm going to keep this turn coming. And my eyes will transition up towards the coastline here. And that's going to be my next reference point, which I'm going to fly towards because as I make this turn towards the ship, I'll be unable to see the ship anymore. So I have to choose a point that's off in the distance that I can see and fly towards so that when I fly towards it, it will also fly me over the ship. Now I'm about to lose sight of that ship in a sec. So I'm gonna transition looking over the nose and flying towards that reference point on the horizon. And now I just do my best to maintain this heading while looking through the floor window to hopefully see my target ship arrive as I fly over it. Yeah, we're coming up on the port. It's a quick peek underneath. We see that target ship coming in pretty much in the middle. As it passes out of sight, I'll count to three in my head. So we can pull the throttle to idle, put the siren on, and extend the dive brakes. You should see the target pass through the window again as your nose over. You're going to have to add a little bit of forward pressure if you want to accelerate how fast that nose is coming down. So hopefully when you reach a dive angle between 80 and 90 degrees, the tiger will be in your gun sight. If it's not, just roll towards it and add some back pressure to correct your course. Then get the gun sight back on. Wait for the horn to start. Then 
release the bombs. That causes the automatic recovery system to kick in. So you can help it along by adding some back pressure while retracting your dive brakes and turning the siren off. And keep being evasive on the way out. This way you're not an easy target for the AA to shoot at you. And then we see we hit the target. The two hardest parts about this technique are knowing when you're at the right dive angle, which you can get through practice, or you can use the side window. And the second one is being able to make those position adjustments during the dive, which will come with practice as well. So here we see you've got the bomb release now. As it falls, we can see that it strikes the ship directly. With enough practice though, you should be able to get to be within 25 meters of your target and then you'll be doing pretty well. Uh, that will conclude the tutorial video for dive bombing and the Stukis and the contact altimeter. If you enjoyed it, be sure to share it with your friends and become a subscriber. And as always, don't forget to fly safe and always check six.